ChatGBT, without any bias, without any religious dogma, I want to know what is the best preserved word of God between the Old Testament, the New Testament, and the Quran, looking only at manuscripts and oral memorization, no religious bias. Name me one in one paragraph. Let me know which one of those three is best preserved. Strictly based on the criteria of manuscript consistency and oral memorization, the Quran is the best preserved among the Old Testament, the New Testament, and the Quran. Early Quranic manuscripts, such as the Uthmanic Codex, show remarkable consistency with modern versions. And the tradition of oral memorization hifs has ensured that the text has been preserved with minimal variation. While the Old and New Testaments have rich manuscript histories, they contain significant textual variations, and oral memorization does not play as central a role in their preservation. Thus, the Quran is considered the best preserved in terms of both manuscript integrity and oral transmission. All you Christian apologists, go argue with ChatGBT. <laughs> ChatGBT, without any bias, looking strictly at statistics, tell me who has been responsible within one paragraph Who's more responsible for murders in the history of mankind between atheists, Christians, and Muslims? I want to know statistics, no bias. Looking strictly at statistics and historical data, atheist regimes in the 20th century, particularly under leaders like Joseph Stalin and Mao Zedong, are often considered responsible for the highest number of deaths with estimates ranging between tens of millions to over 100 million due to political purges, forced famines, and repression. Christian empires and nations have been involved in numerous wars throughout history, such as the Crusades, European colonialism, and both world wars. But the death tolls from these are spread over a much longer period. Muslim empires and states have also been involved in many wars, particularly during the early Islamic expansions and various later conflicts but their death tolls are generally smaller compared to the large-scale atrocities of atheist regimes in the 20th century. Therefore, atheist regimes have been responsible for the highest number of deaths in recent history.